Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So we are well and truly into the cosy part of the year now. And with it being my favorite season, I thought I'd make a little video on how I like to beef out my calendar to add more gameplay to The Sims 4. I'm hoping that you might find this video useful and it might give you some ideas for holidays that you can add to your Sims calendar. And of course, if there are holidays or traditions that you use a lot, I'd love to know about them in the comments. I am using a few mods here. I've got Little Miss Sam's mod that includes more holiday icons and a couple more mods as well that have some more activities slash traditions. I'll link all of the mods I've used in the video description if you want to add them in your game too. Although you don't necessarily need mods to add more holidays, you'll just have to get creative with what we already have in game. We'll be going through a few holidays I've added for each season, so let's start off in autumn, seeing as that's where we are now. Halloween. This one is probably only possible with the spooky pack, but I love to add Halloween into all of my games. It's a great holiday to play through, and there are some pretty cute spooky activities. Obviously, my sims need to have a spooky spirit, maybe watch some scary movies and get into the spooky headspace. I always use the carving stations for Halloween because if I don't, when else would they be used? Fill the patio with carved pumpkins and really set the scene. It looks pretty in the dark with all of the pumpkins lit up. And the good thing about the calendar is that you're not limited to just a holiday on its own. You can host an event on a holiday as well. If you use the calendar, you can choose the time of your event. So why not celebrate Halloween during the day and then invite all of the neighbours round in their best Halloween costumes, dance to some spooky tunes and get the drinks flowing. Even if your neighbours do turn up with stupid fucking bags on their heads because of a stupid action plan. Pampered Pooch Day! Why not dedicate a day to your furry friends? Admittedly, this doesn't need to happen in autumn. It can happen any time of the year. But the main thing is that it's a day to show your pets that you love them. For my pampered pup day, I include playing with the dog, brushing their hair, teaching them a new trick, and also making them a nice homemade treat. Which I'd never actually done before, but I'll be doing it a lot more now. I made my dog pumpkin a meaty pie in the shape of a bone. Who's a good boy? I don't have many pets in my Sims families, but I think that's mainly because when I give my Sims a pet, they sort of become the star of the show. Everything my Sim does revolves around the pet. So naturally, when coming up with holidays ideas, I just felt drawn to something involving pampering my Sims dogs. Firework night. This is a tradition we have across the pond on the 5th of November. It's also referred to as bonfire night. Traditionally, people would craft a homemade version of Guy Fawkes and throw him on a bonfire because he tried to blow up the Houses of Parliament in 1605. Nowadays, though, most people just have a bonfire and let off some fireworks. I added a barbecue tradition in there for good measure too, because for some reason my family always have a barbecue in the garden on firework night. And we would have burgers and sparklers and pretend that we weren't all freezing to death. It's just nice to have a holiday to bridge the gap between Halloween and Christmas. Americans have Thanksgiving, we have firework night. Moving on to winter, these are mainly focused around Christmas. So let's start with Christmas Eve. It's time to start building up the excitement. I like to play The Sims how I like to live my life, indulging in cosy traditions. Ignore the videos I've made about prostitution, drug dealing and running a brothel for the statement about how I live my life. So I gave my Sims Christmas Eve. Nothing too crazy, just a chill way of getting ready for the big day. I set the goals of being festive, getting the decorations out and watching a movie. I imagine it to be a Christmas movie. I like to find some kind of Christmas market type placer on the gallery and go there on Christmas Eve to pick out presents for my Sims family, but there wasn't a tradition for that so I just did it anyway as a bonus. Then after Christmas I like to have Boxing Day. This is a bank holiday in the UK and it's the day after Christmas. It's basically a day to get over the festive hangover and eat so much leftover food that you can't get yourself off the couch usually spent in pyjamas, much TV will be watched and the floor will most likely still be covered in wrapping paper from the carnage that took place the day before. 
So I added Boxing Day to my Sims lives, and the goals I gave my Sims were to watch a movie together, eat popcorn, be thankful, and appreciate objects. I don't know about you guys, but when I was a kid, we would go to several family homes on Christmas Day, so usually my brother and I were allowed to pick a few presents we opened to take with us. So Boxing Day was really the day for playing with our presents. Christmas Day was usually spent sneaking up to my uncle's bedroom and watching him play GTA 1 on PlayStation. The only trouble is, when Winterfest comes up any other time of year, I usually can't be bothered with it. But if it's close to Christmas in real life, I want to do the whole shebang in The Sims. Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and of course, Boxing Day. Then we have spring. Perfect time for spring cleaning. And that's the first one I have in spring. Sounds like a rave, right? I'm not the best at keeping my Sims houses clean and tidy, so I like to put this day in as a reminder that sometimes you have to pick up after yourselves. During spring cleaning, all of my Sims will have to do chores to successfully achieve the holiday, including taking the rubbish out, tending the garden, getting on top of the laundry, and just cleaning in general. And of course, I have Easter. What's the point in having this adorable bunny costume if you're not going to use it? I love having Easter in my game, especially now that we can have a load of bunnies hopping around. Get yourself on the gallery, find a park with hidden Easter eggs, and send the Sims to go on the hunt. I always add the Easter bunny tradition too, because why not? Adds a little magic to the experience for the kiddies. It's just a nice cutesy activity to have the family do, and it's a good excuse to get out of the house, because we don't have many of those. I also added a wedding anniversary for my married sims. This one doesn't have to be any specific time of year, and you should probably delete it after it passes because it will affect every sim in town, but I like to have days that celebrate sims who have been married for a long time. To be honest, this is just a holiday for the sake of having a holiday, but sometimes you might just want an excuse to have a day off work and keep the kids home, spend some time together as a family. For my sims wedding anniversary, I just had them invite a few neighbours over for some casual drinks and dancing in the garden. I thought it was quite nice to just have a social gathering without worrying about those pesky goals when you host an event. And lastly, we have summer. And what better way to kick off summer with a summer barbecue? As soon as the sun starts coming out and the warm weather has barely kicked in, it's time to have a barbecue. This is kind of what we do in the UK. Because it's quite cold and miserable most of the time, the second we get a hint of sunshine, we're like, right, that's it, I'm firing up the barbecue. Even if it's not quite barbecue weather just yet. Another holiday I love having in my calendar, usually around summertime, is Pride. I love having Pride in my game. There are some really cool Pride villages and Pride park lots on the gallery that your sims can go to and just have a good time. I set my goals as party spirit, enjoy the music, and hug each other. Share the love, man. This holiday is a really nice compliment to the LGBT mod if you have that. If you don't, I'll link it in the description because it's genuinely a really nice mod to have, especially if you're wanting to celebrate Pride in The Sims because you can add one of the event types that comes with the mod. And the last holiday I have in my calendar is Family Beach Day. Now that we're well and truly into summer, we may as well make the most of it and head to the beach. I find the world of Sulani so beautiful, but I rarely play as a family there. I don't know why, maybe because for me it's just more of a holiday place. But I like to have beach day in my Sims calendar so that we at least get the chance to see Sulani's beautiful landscape before summer ends. I use the goals of travelling, playing in the sand, eating ice cream and playing in the water. Again, just as a reminder, if I'm naming traditions that you don't recognise, it's probably because they're from the mods I'm using. So if you want them in your game, go ahead and click the link in the description to find them. And there are just a few holidays I've added to my calendar to beef out my Sims gameplay. Let me know in the comments which ones you like the sound of, and which ones you don't like the sound of. Do you add your own holidays? What sort of ones do you have in your game? I'd love to know in the comments. But that's it from me. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.